if it is if it is not genuinely felt, then there is no point. Okay. Who accept this as a criticism? Raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Who does not? Raise your hand. Okay, so we accept it. Who's left? Uh, oh, but Irvin, you hadn't read yours. Hmm? You hadn't no. Read. Go ahead. Uh, no, because my neighbor does not respect me. Okay. Who uh, has, who thinks this is not a criticism, raise your hand. Who think it's a criticism, raise your hand. Accept it. Uh, okay, so there's only you left. Go ahead. Uh, neighbors shouldn't be respected just because of them being neighbors. Who accepts that as a criticism, raise your hand. Who does not raise your hand? Okay, so accept. You don't accept it as criticism? Why? Oh, well. The only thing uh, I prefer you don't, because we went through a whole bunch of things, you were not there. Ah, oh, let's see. It's your chance. Okay, let's hear it. Go. Let's hear it. Um, he, said, uh, he, he said you should not respect your neighbor because uh, the neighbor the, the does not respect uh, you. That's Is it? that what you're saying? No. 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 So read it again. Neighbors shouldn't be respected just because of them being neighbors. Uh -huh. I see, I see. So is that a criticism of this or no? Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go around. Please, the ones that were refused, don't read it. We'll only read the ones that were accepted. And then you hear, you pick one, and remember, you're supposed to determine what is the vision of the one who's criticizing. Huh? From what standpoint is he criticizing? Okay, we clear? Let's go. Were you accepted? We started the accept, uh, acceptance um, exercise later. Oh, so you escaped. That's good luck for you, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> you refuse it, so you're in it. Maybe you were lucky. Okay, go ahead, read it. Uh, you shouldn't respect your neighbor. If he's throwing his garbage on your backyard. Okay. I think yours was not. Were you I was, re I was rejected. Yes. Were you rejected? No. Agree it. No one should have to do anything. I'm never at home, so I don't need to respect my neighbor. You cannot respect someone a priori because respect is something you have to earn. You're not, your neighbor is not the one to respect. You shouldn't respect your neighbor uh, if your neighbor asks you to disrespect him. Were you accepted, Yvonne? No, er, neither. Yes. Respect without friendship is a posture. Were you accepted? Uh, yeah. Yes. At your own house, you have to, the right to do what you want to do. Louder. At your own house, you have the right to do what you want to do. Were you accepted? Yes, okay. I will respect my neighbors when they are not abusive. Okay, uh, were you accepted? Okay. If uh, your neighbor does something that you don't find worth respecting, you may not respect. But but you speak to us, don't sorry. forget not to your computer, but to us, you speak okay. loud. If your neighbor does something that you uh, don't respect, then you don't need to respect them. Okay. And universal, <coughs> so universal principles are meaningless. Okay. Okay. David. No, because my neighbor does not respect me. Okay. If it is not genuinely felt, then there is no point. Neighbors shouldn't be respected just because of them being neighbors. Okay. Who has chosen already somebody he wants to analyze? Raise your hand. One. So I don't know what you're <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to pick someone. So, okay. So, okay. Who still doesn't have, has not chosen someone? I'll show you. Yeah, okay. Uh, what's your first name again? Elizabeth. We're going to do. It's a. Yeah, because this happens all the time. People just go and it's like, <laughs> you're going to go, I call it going fishing. Have we done this in Lisbon, going fishing? No. Okay. Going fishing. 
You can ask three people, any three people, what is their answer? What's the criticism? You will take one of the three and work, and that's one of the three you analyze. Okay? You understand? Yes, I understand. Take any three people. Uh, Nelson. Ask them to read it, then the second one and the third one, and you choose. Go ahead. Nelson, can you read it? Yes. Neighbors shouldn't be respected just because of them being neighbors. Um, the moral principles are <coughs> Yeah. Uh, you cannot respect someone a priori because respect is something you have to earn. Which one do you want to analyze? Him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Morton, you're you worth the interest. Are you happy? Yeah. I'm glad you came. Yeah. 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 Is it often people are interested in what you say? Or it's rare? It's too rare. It's too rare. <laughs> <laughs> so you sit in the right place. Okay, all right. So, so each other. Okay. Who still hasn't chosen someone to analyze? Raise your hand. Okay, Mike. Ask three people. Katya, what did you say? What did I say? Yeah. What was your criticism? Mine or your own criticism? No, he wants your chair's criticism, never yours. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't respect your neighbor if your neighbor asks you to disrespect him. Okay. Uh, Mac, um, at your own house, you have the right to do what you want to do. Okay? Um, Secret. You shouldn't respect your neighbor if he's throwing his garbage on your backyard. Okay. Who do you want to analyze? Well, um, I analyze uh, Katya. Ah, uh, no. Um, uh, secret. Okay. <laughs> Who still hasn't made a choice? Raise your hand. Okay, then ask three people. Okay, I think Katya because I have already a question. Oh, you have, you have chosen, you choose her. Oh, oh, that's it. You have chosen, eh? Oh, no, I, I, I you want to know more people, or are you choosing what you've heard? One is, uh, <coughs> uh, one is one. All right. Mm -hmm. Who still hasn't chosen? Raise your hand. Ask for people, Janet. Is it No, I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're a tricky Aussie. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, no, listen, because uh, Janet has an issue, right? I have an issue. Uh, okay, raise the issue. By the way, when somebody, uh, uh, when somebody uh, uh, does uh, a workshop, like today's me, but I have good news, this afternoon there will be other people. I think you will start this afternoon, and likely enough, I think Irvin will do one too. So, uh, I'll give you a joke principle I like. If somebody really has something where I think it's terrible, unfair, you can raise it. In general, I say, do it at the end. At the end, we can evaluate. Say, okay, this was wrong. This was right. I think you should do blah blah whatever. Yes, it's okay. At the end, do meta discussion. In the middle, I say avoid doing it <coughs> because uh, it, uh, <coughs> it you get a debate on the debate and it just creates mess. And, you know, just let somebody go all the way. But Janet came to me and she says, Oscar, you, you did something very unfair, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, tell me, Oscar, you're unfair? You're unfair, Oscar. All right, now give us the proof. Rest so your, put your case. He you changed the rules. You allowed everyone's um, criticism to be assessed, evaluated by the group, and then accepted or rejected. But in the case of Isabel, she, uh, we, we were not given the opportunity to accept or reject her. Okay. Did, was this done as well with, uh, with Sigurd? Um, we just did it. Was it done as well with Sigrid? Yes, two people, yes. Yes. But we, we have heard first. Okay, now let me ask you something. What is tougher, to accept it off the bat, or to have the group accept it or not? What is tougher? Um, accept it off the bat? I don't know. Yes, off the bat, yes. Right away, because they say it, or to ask the group if they want it or not. What is tougher? It's simple, don't think. Uh, well, it's yes. pure logic. Okay. It is pure logic, is it? Um, yes. Oh, therefore, the answer is the group. Yes, all right. So, uh, 
So, therefore, the people that were before that, that rule, which I introduced at a certain moment, yes? Okay. okay. Do you know why suddenly I introduced that rule? No. No. You have no clue. Yes? Because indeed, I agree, I changed the rules. And see, you even said it. Me, I didn't have to go through group acceptance. Yes? So, you have two cases. One uh, accepted uh, without the group doing it, and another one refused, the group had nothing to do with it. Yes? All right? So. So, but suddenly you change the rules. But do you know why, you don't know why I change the rules suddenly, no? Okay, who knows why suddenly I change the rule? Raise the hand. Okay, since I, it's to be, or ask anyone. Why did Oscar change the rule? Okay. I think, no, he changed the rules because he did not want to be both judge and jury. Good explanation? Yep. You're smart? Tell him you're smart. Mm -hmm. All right. And indeed, yes, because I saw myself in the judge and jury at the same time, and, I, and that's always to be avoided. When you run the discussion, otherwise, you'll be accused like it was done of being unfair. <laughs> so I, like, I prefer that the group decide. It's because I'm a, I'm a coward, you know. So, anyway. So, but in the case of Isabel, is that the problem or is it another problem? Um, is it because the group didn't decide or it's another problem you want? It's because you've um, robbed the group of an opportunity to, to make a judgment. Okay, all right, so you are me, okay, you come, okay, let's do it. You come here and you do this with uh, the thing with Isabel, okay. <laughs> a little warming up about doing a workshop yourself. All right, go ahead. <laughs> I don't respect people I don't know. Okay, who regards this as a criticism? Okay, I'm oh, sorry, we want to say nine. I think it's ah, well, okay. Let's hear from people who do it, did not do not accept it as a criticism. Yvonne, why is this not a criticism? Because I think it's a statement. Can you remember can you remember anybody's criticism that was not a statement? Mm. <laughs> 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 suicide. <laughs> okay, so it is a statement. Um, therefore it could still be a criticism. So who's still regarded as not a criticism? Oh, okay. Uh, Ivan, is it? Nelson. Oh, Nelson. <laughs> Nelson, can you tell, tell us why you refuse to accept this as a criticism? Because um, it doesn't imply that you know your neighbor. Um, let me say this differently. Um, Yes, please. I don't respect people I don't know. Um, maybe you know your neighbor and therefore um, you respect him. No. Okay, so the maybe is here. Um, just because maybe you don't know. Um. Well, I have a problem with um, <coughs> with neighbor and knowing people. It's not necessarily. It, mm, no, maybe you should move on. No, I'm not sure anymore. So we okay, so you, you may know your neighbor, or you may not know your neighbor. Yes. So there are still the two possibilities. Yes. Um, and given that there are the two possibilities, could it operate as a criticism? Yeah, maybe there is a case where you 
Um, no, I, I, I dropped my, my criticism. Okay, so I, think. I, th I agree that it is a criticism. Okay. criticism. Yeah. Who else rejects it? Um, okay. Just, uh, just <coughs> what he was trying to allude to help us. He is saying that in his conception of the word never, it has nothing to do with plus or minus knowledge. You don't need to know your level. Whoever else, whoever you see, is okay. your level. So you don't need to know them little or intimately to show them respect. I think that's where he was heading yeah. to. So that's a rebuttal to, to this criticism. Uh, that is uh, the little difficulty about that. Yes, but, but it is still, as it is a rebuttal, it's still acknowledging that that was a criticism. Yes. Okay. Um, anybody else? Um, would you like to pick somebody? Who's, who's objecting to you? Yes, but there is nobody. Yeah. <laughs> nobody. Oh, okay. Edwin. <coughs> okay, please. This is like a this, this looks like a kind of moral rule to me, uh, and, uh, or uh, something from a declaration of a, uh, United Nations or something like that. Yeah, it's a, a general rule. What, what you do, what you do is uh, saying something. Uh, Personal, uh, it looks like from a lot of order. This is an old thing. What you say is, uh, I don't respect people, I don't know. It's, it's uh, uh, not a category. Is it, is it always not, not a category? Category is a statement. I'm sorry? She's, if, she's, you're saying, if, she, if she says, I, will, I cannot respect people, I do not know. Is that a categorical statement or not? Okay. So they uh, both have the same statement? They're both categorical statement? Proposition? No, it's, this is a... I, I think this one is a, a moral rule. She says it looks more like a, like a kind of a, an experience. Okay. So it's read it again and and convince that it is not a rule which is. I don't respect people I don't know. Uh, uh. to the group. Who thinks that, that um, Isabel has constructed a moral rule? Okay, I know you do. So, everyone has to agree with Ivan that, is, that Isabel has not constructed a moral rule. But ask, who thinks it is? Who thinks it's not? Otherwise, yeah. we don't know yeah. what to do. Okay, who thinks that Isabel has constructed a moral rule? Okay, one person there. So, who thinks she has not constructed a moral rule? So, the uh, criticism then is that she has... No, your objection is that she, she has constructed something other than a rule to critique um, a rule. Right? Can you speak louder? Yeah. I hear you say what you do or what you don't do uh, so this statement is about what you should do what people should do mm -hmm. 
So, um, put your hand if you agree that um, a statement of fact can never be a criticism of uh, a moral rule of an ought. Mm. If you hear me in here, okay, can you explain <coughs> why you cannot? Well, I think uh, Arun uh, it can only reformulate what he says. A rule is something you should do. The fact that you do something is not in any way moral. For example, I can say, I am stealing, I'm a thief, but I should not steal. So, we give her a rule, she, what's your objection? She says she doesn't do it. But the fact she doesn't do it is in no way an objection to a rule. A fact is not an objection to a rule. It's just, you don't do it, that's all. But it's not an objection. So who accepts that, that a, that a fact can never be used as an objection to a rule? Put up your hand if you accept that. Okay, put up your hand if you reject that idea. Okay. John Cross, can you explain why you reject that idea? I think uh, in her sentence there's an objection to that rules. Um, clearly expressed. So you do think, but, but what I'm asking you to do is to um, justify using a statement of fact as a criticism of a rule. Can you think of another case of where you can reject a moral rule with a statement of fact? Oh, Nelson wants to help. Would you like me <coughs> to help you? Oh yes, please. I don't know if it will help, but um, I thought like if if you know that that person is your neighbor, then you already know something about him or her, and that sort of um, makes that you cannot say that you don't know him or her. Yes, do you agree with that? No. Well, let's say then, um, would you like to reconstruct your proposition as a, as a rule, if we accept the general feeling that you can't use a statement of fact? Can you reconstruct your proposition oh, as you a rule? Oh, you want me to, yeah. okay, to reformulate my proposition yeah. as a rule? Then I shouldn't respect people I don't know. Well, maybe. Is that a rule? If oh, you say you, 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 then I say I. <laughs> So that if, we, we need to make it, if she makes a, a you rather than an I, but we're in a different position now. Can you try that? Use the word you in your sentence. You shouldn't respect people you don't know. Okay. Now, if, put up your hand if you think that's a criticism of this statement. You should not, but you should respect your neighbour, and that spells off in us, you should not respect people you do not know. Okay. Your question? Okay, so my question to you is who if we accept that construction, reconstruction as a criticism. Yeah. <coughs> okay, so that that forms acceptable. Okay. Are you willing to um, offer that one instead of the other one? Or do you want to no, no, it's okay, yes, I, I can I can take this one, yes. Okay, there we go. Objection, Your Honor. <laughs> no. That's totally arbitrary. <laughs> That's totally arbitrary. All the others refused, never got a chance to change their thing, and because she's your friend, you say you can change your thing. No, I am not I have having lost this rule. I want to be judging you. Okay. Um. But, uh, and at least maybe ask if people agree that this ch if you think this change of rule is legitimate. Okay. No. Okay. Put up your hand if you reject this change of rules. If you reject the fact that I have changed the rules of the game, um, put up your hand if you reject this move I've made. And that, that being, what I did was I allowed her to reconstruct her, state, her proposition. Allowed her to, to turn her state, her descriptive statement into a, um, a moral rule. So, and I did, and nobody else had the chance to reconstruct their position. So, if that was an illegitimate move, put up your hand. 
fit. In illegitimate. Me. Yes. Okay. So, um, all we've got to play with, is we can return to the original construction. So, go backwards. Read us again your first criticism. Yes, I don't respect people, I don't know. I want to keep the I. I for me is important because you say you and I say I. Okay. So, now, um, we're going to have our last vote now. Who accepts Isabel's criticism as a criticism? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many people have we got in the room? Always ask, ask who does, who doesn't ask. Yeah, and who does not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five. <laughs> okay, what do we do now? Oh, <laughs> I was like, this <laughs> is <laughs> But you know what? There is a third question. Who doesn't know? <laughs> oh yes, he doesn't know. Because some people didn't vote. Okay. Or well, I'll give you. Can, would you like the deciding vote, perhaps? I have to. Is that my work Okay. And if I resume the position of judge. Um, anyway, ask someone who didn't vote, yeah. and you question that person until he decides, okay? okay? He or she. Okay, I think you were the only person who didn't vote, is that right? Okay, so. Okay. Anybody else not vote? Mike. Mike, what do you Okay, now I'm happy to ask you. Thank you. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, if you cannot make up your mind whether the original proposition was yes, does, yes. a criticism or not, probably you've got reasons to suspect it is one. So, what is was one that the question? Yeah, what, what? The original proposition? The original proposition. Is it a criticism or not? Yes, that's, that's it. what you're asking? Yes. At this stage, you don't know. No, at this stage, I don't know. But you're inclined. You've got arguments for and against it? No. Okay. 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 So, so read it again, please. I don't respect people I don't know. So, what is that proposition? It's a proposition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What work is it doing? She tells something about herself. Okay. Um, does it tell us? Tell you anything about so you can see no connection with this moral principle on the board? No, because uh, it's subjective and uh, the rule is uh, objective. Okay, is, is that a reason to reject Isabel's uh, proposition as a criticism? Okay, yeah. Okay, so at this stage you're inclined to reject it? Yeah. Okay, now look at it again and see whether you um, have any reason to accept it as a criticism. <laughs> <laughs> Another reason. Yeah, to accept it as a criticism. Is there anything that draws you? I mean, I don't understand why you hadn't made up your mind. It must be that you, you didn't accept. No, it was because I was confused. Okay, so, so now you're... So you made me see yep. that... Uh, <laughs> I saw the subjective and objective distinction. Okay. So now you you're in a position to vote. Yes. And what, what would your what would your vote be? That it is not a criticism of the original proposition. There we go. Done. That's a ten ten to nine. You're out. I said you were a Thank you, dear yeah. colleagues. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. <laughs> uh, except there's a little problem. You forgot what the issue was. It doesn't matter. But the issue was not at all about the content. Do you remember? The content. Yes, when, it was, uh, when I didn't take it, it had nothing to do with the content. Do you remember or not? Okay. I thought she made, you asked her and she made an, uh, a 
No, it was not. It was not for the content. It was a purely formal thing about having written or not the thing. And I had her neighbor check if she had written it or not, and there was nothing written. So it was purely following the rule of writing it or not. But thanks anyhow. <laughs> so, but there is a problem because I have written something. When? When she checked, I have written something. You want, you want to deal with that one? No. no, no. no. <laughs> you, 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 know? you simply asked whether it was a criticism of this or not. No, she that's said it, no, that you know? was How about right? I would no. we, we give that up. So you should apologize. Was I unfair? Yes. Yes, I was unfair. unfair. Oh, sure, you're unfair. Of course, no yes, I tell you. You sure. want me to tell it again? Yes, you tell me. You're unfair. You feel better? Yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> I will tell you later again. <laughs> okay. That's threats. Okay, so. Uh, who still has not uh, chosen somebody to analyze? Ask three people. Oh. Because, yeah, you came in late. Yeah. You're supposed to find someone you want to analyze. So ask any three people, and you pick the one you want to analyze. Okay? People three people that we accepted there. Yeah, I don't remember. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Ask, and if, if it, it, they're not taken, they'll tell you, don't worry. Okay. Okay, the one it was taken? No. Yours? No. No, yes, you, yes, you were yeah. accepted. <coughs> Read your, your, your. I will respect my levels when they are not abusive. Um, if my uh, neighbor says something uh, that I don't respect, uh, that I, I don't tell what they respect my respect. Shani, please, can you speak oh, louder? I don't hear you. If my neighbor says something that I don't respect, uh, don't find words to respect my respect. And Nelson, what's yours? Uh, neighbors shouldn't be respected just because of them being neighbors. Okay, which one do you think you want to analyze? Yeah, awesome. All right, who still hasn't chosen someone? You have not chosen? No. Why not? Why not? No. Because I didn't before. But now, yes, yes, I know I chose one. You have chosen? Yes. Now, so just now. This is one of the questions. Who has not chosen yet? Raise your hand. Who to analyze? Who has not chosen yet, raise your hand. Okay. Ask three people, and you choose among those three people. I chose okay. Oh, you have chosen him. Oh, but who has not chosen yet, raise your hand. You have not chosen? Because I was... Have you chosen or not? I, I want to know because, just... Not yet. Not, yet. not yet. Okay, so ask three people, and you choose among those three people. Mike was refused. refused. So, you And you didn't give me a second chance. No. <laughs> Janet. Overruled. Okay, I'm Stevie. Stevie. No one should have to do anything. You have the right to three, unless it's hers, you want to analyze hers, and that's okay. And then, uh, uh, Cecilia? Why do you ask me? Oh, Cecilia, yes. Were you accepted? No, she was not. She, she was rejected. Okay, so, Jean? Yeah, she was accepted. Uh, if my neighbor did something that um, I don't find worthy of respect, then I don't respect. So, who do you choose among those? Oh, you have the right to the third one. It is, if it is not genuinely felt, then there is no point. Choose one of those three. Okay, uh, I'll choose R. Okay. Who still hasn't chosen someone? Alright, who has chosen someone? Raise your hand. Alright, so, now what you do <coughs> is you identify from which standpoint the person you cho choose is criticizing that statement. Alright? Who understands what you're supposed to do now? Raise your hand. 
Who does not understand, raise your hand. Okay. Uh, what is it you don't understand? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. I don't. I, I didn't understand what he was supposed to do. Okay, yeah. but I, I just said now. Did you hear my words? Yes. Okay. Can you roughly say what you have heard, what you remember? I chose the okay, and I must see something in his statement. Okay. Therefore, can you claim you understand nothing at all, or you understand at least something? At least I understand. I understood something. Okay. So what is it you understand? Say it again. To see something in his statement. Okay. Do you have any clue of what you're supposed to see in his statement? I'm thinking the focus of the... Um, of the criticism of that statement. All right. So do you understand what you're supposed to do? Thank you. No, don't thank me. I'm asking you if now you know what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Yes. Who thinks, who accepts... Uh, Paula. Huh? Who accepts Paula's reformulation of the, uh, of the instruction? Raise your hand. One, two, three. Who does not accept it, raise your hand. Keep your hand up. And most people don't know. Okay, keep your hand up. Ask one of them. Keep your hand up. Keep your hand up. Ah, oh, you put it down. Uh, <laughs> cheating, eh? Ask one of them. Why you refuse my reformulation? Nelson, why you refuse my reformulation? Because I see a difference between the focus and the perspective. Explain. Focus is something... Um, where you're directed at and perspective is something um, what is directing you. Does okay. that make sense? Uh, wait, this is, that's my job. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't steal my job. I'm jealous. Have you heard this distinction he made? Yes. For you, these two things he described, are they the same thing basically? Or two different things? Different. different. What's the difference? They are. What are the two different things first? There are lots of perspectives. And are there lots of focus? Yes. So is it different or is it the same? This one just so is he, uh, is he, uh, how do you say this, Fiddle, fiddling or is he fiddling with words? Mm -hmm. Therefore, is there a real issue in what he's saying? No, it's no real issue. Can I? No. Tell, tell me. <laughs> There's no issue what you're doing. Tell him. There's no issue what you're right. saying. Who else is refusing her way of saying it? Anybody else? Okay, ask somebody else, why do you refuse my reformulation? Why do you refuse my reformulation? Uh, <coughs> because I don't, I think, uh, perspective, uh, we're, because I think we were asked to um, uh, determine uh, what the values or what the framework was that that person was coming from with their uh, criticism, not what their criticism was focused on. And I think your statement about focus is do you think she's raising an issue, or as well, there's no real issue there? I didn't understand everything. What she oh, said. No. Do you understand what she's saying or not? No. No, tell her I don't understand you. I, don't, I didn't understand you. Oh. you? No, 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 she, she won't. No. Don't ask her to do anything. She'll stay on the misunderstanding the problem. Who else is refusing her reformulation? Okay, let's decide. Who accepts her reformulation? Raise your hand. Who? One, 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 one. Who refuses it? Raise your hand. And who's sleeping? Raise your hand. <laughs> Keep your hand up. Ask one of those people, why are you sleeping? Why are you sleeping? Who are you asking? Mortal. 
<laughs> well, that happens that you sleep awake for a couple of seconds. That's but the nature's. Uh, but what is the problem? Is it because you you slipped away? Is that the problem? At the moment when she came with her revelation, I were lost. You were lost okay. at these moments. So, so it has so nothing to do with got the, her grief revelation. So it has nothing to do with the issue. It has to do with your own mental state. Yes. All right. Okay. Yes. It, okay. So she's going to say again. More. Listen yes. well. Yes. What is it that you're supposed to do? Say it again. We must find the, um, the focus or the central point in the statement of those we have chosen okay. that indicates the criticism of that statement. Okay. Do you accept that reformulation of the work to be done? Uh, no. No. Can you tell her why you don't accept it? Yeah, because um, she asks us to uh, focus on what makes this thing the criticism, but uh, you ask us to find out um, uh, what kind of thinking this criticism comes stems from. And what's the difference? Uh, the difference is that uh, you can have a general point of view, you can have different um, statements arising from that, but uh, you focus on just the statement or criticism proposed and instead of what? Instead of the basis, what kind of proposition is that criticism? Do you understand the difference it makes or no? No. No, tell them I don't understand the difference. I don't understand the difference. You're okay. surprised? Yes? Yes. <laughs> okay. Funny, huh? And by the way, it's always uh, 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 something very difficult. Huh? But it says, is there an issue or is there no issue? I say this because sometimes some people want to say, that's not this word, it's that word. You know, especially when you deal with it. I say, is there an issue of replacing the word with the word? So uh, please, we have to decide. Yeah? So just trying to wake up. Who accepts the concept of focus she has used? Raise your hand. One, two, three, four. Who does not accept it? Raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it's not refute. Yes. So who wants to tell her the words we're supposed to do then? What is the instruction? Who knows? Tell her. The instruction is to identify the worldview or the gospel paradigm with someone loses when he says the sentence. Do you understand him? Yes. Alright, so you know what to do? Okay, now have you picked someone or no? Yes, okay. Okay, oh, so you know what to do. Good. So who still hasn't picked someone? Oh yeah, I was on the instruction. <laughs> who still does not understand what we're supposed to do? Who understands what we're supposed to do? Okay, are you with us? Yes, sir. Did you raise your hand? No. No, so are you with us? Yes. <laughs> Did you raise your hand? No. So are you with us? Yes. <laughs> Did you raise your hand? No. Are you with us? Yes. Do you know why I asked you three times those two questions? <laughs> oh, you have no clue. <laughs> Do you know why I asked you three times those two questions or you have no clue? Get, let me get to it. Do you know, yes or no, why I asked you those questions, two questions, three times in a row or you have no clue? No. You have no clue? You say, do I know why? Do you know or you don't? Okay, so if you don't know, are you with us or not with us? Yes, you are here how? Physically, mentally, or both? Oh. <laughs> Physically, mentally. Then why you don't understand why I ask you this question?
because he felt. Okay. It's because Oscar has feelings. All right. Okay. Is that it? Okay, because you feel. Okay. So the reason I ask this question is because I'm a, I'm a, I have feelings. All right. Okay. Yes. Who accepts the hypothesis that it's because of my feelings that I ask these questions? Raise your hand. So raise your hand, sure. Raise your hand, okay. Yes. <laughs> How many hands are up? Who thinks I have feelings? In this life, count in hand. The command, count I hand. I want to raise my hand. Okay, one, two. That was one. easy. I'm okay. A fish. <coughs> okay. Four. Put your hands down. Four. <laughs> Who thinks it has nothing to do with my feelings? Raise your hand. You see the hands up? Yes. So are you with the majority or are you not? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I agree with you. That's the problem. That's what you are. You see, okay, I'll tell you the secret of that exercise. You have to de okize yourself. As long as you're going to be okay, you won't be with us, you'll be with okay. So you have to stop being okay. Now you're not okay. okay. You like that? Yes. Yes. Are you now not okay? Since you say so. <laughs> I don't know if I'll go back to the next year. Okay, so. <laughs> so let's do the job and do what our friend has said. Two minutes to do what he has said. the sentence you want to analyze, you can do like our friend, go to the person if you have a gives you some gymnastics the occasion to run away <laughs> minutes left. Consultation afterwards with her. Uh. <laughs> okay, so uh, next step, I would like you. Hello. You. If you are lost, you make you you write why you're lost. Okay, but for the people who are not lost, the last thing I would like you to do is produce a concept. In other words, you analyze from which standpoint the person you want to analyze comes from. But I would like you now, maybe you have the concept already in the sentence you have, otherwise you see one concept. What is the concept which is key in that person's vision, in that person's criticism? A concept is one word, or an expression at most, but one word in general. Okay? Just write the concepts. You have 30 seconds to write the concept of that person.
Alright, so let's start our business. Who wants to give the first shot and tell us his uh, oh no, let's do the first thing. We'll just list just the concept. Each time we we'll go, just give the concept. Concept you found. Libertarian. Libertarian. Same. Same. Libertarian. Just don't say same. Libertarian. Libertarian. Nominalism. Nominalism. I have a final. No concept. Uh, dessert. Dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hungry or something? <laughs> Deserve. Deserve. Oh, deserve. Well, what kind of concept of deserve? What does it have to do with? What does it have to do with to deserve? Oh, you have no clue. Yes, but what does it have to do with? Where are we in this deserving bit? Are we in libertarian thing? No, we're Protestant. <laughs> Who can help Jeanette? So if we have, when we talk about deserving, what kind of business are we in? Who has an idea? Raise your hand. And ask somebody. Reciprocity. 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 Who else wants to say? Yeah. Rights. Rights. Yeah. Anybody else? Yes. Environmentalist. Environmentalist. You take one of those or no? Oh, right. Right. Okay. Yeah. To deserve is a right? <laughs> How does that work? It works on a uh, When people do, do not think rights are universal, they're, they're to do, um, you have to work to acquire a right. <coughs> Yeah, but if you have to acquire it, deserve, then that's what you obtain, the right. Yeah. So that's not deserving. Deserving, if, if one is the, the process and one is the result, it's two different things. We don't want the result. We want the idea of deserving. Anyway, yes. next. Universality. Universality. Reciprocity. Reciprocity. Relativism. Relativism. I don't know the word. Okay. Oh, you know it in Dutch? Uh, no, I only... You yeah, have no concept. It's not the word. You have no concept. N not a stream. Do you have a concept, yes or no? No. No. Concept. Reciprocity. Reciprocity. Non-judgmental. non judgmental. Yeah, but you see, I don't want to none something. Okay. You know? Neutral. Huh? Neutral. Neutral. Okay. I, I don't... Uh, no concept. Concept? Relativism. Relativism. Subjectivism. Yes, subjectivism. And freedom. Subjectivism. If it's, wait, if it's freedom, what kind of vision is that? Libertarian. Okay, so you yeah, like these two. Yes? Uh, submissiveness. Submissiveness, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, okay, submissive world vision, yeah? Yeah. Alright, next. Excellent. Huh? Um, what? Say it again. Force. Effort. 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 What? When you ask someone to make an effort, what are you into? Libertarian vision. Yes. Oh, well, libertarian. He like he makes effort. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's someone who, who works for uh, to earn things. Yeah. <laughs> so what? What kind of business are we in? Okay. Effort. Yes. Next. I don't have. Effort. No concept. Like I'd say the environmentalist. And what? Environmentalist. Yeah, but you said it for somebody else. Okay, anyway. Uh, environmentalist. Yes. I wrote importance. So that person is in an important world outlook. Does that make sense? No, because I don't know the relativism nominal. <coughs> uh, I don't know the. Please, concept. do not drown. You cannot drown here. There's no water. An important worldview, does that make sense to you? No, no. No, so what kind of worldview that person has? You don't know. You know you don't know? No, I don't know. Okay. I don't... Uh, you don't know? No, I don't know the concept. I don't know right. the concept. Okay. So, let's take one from what we've heard three times. is libertarian, yes? Libertarian. Who have you heard in libertarian world outlook? Who was it? Uh, Stina. 
Stina, Stina, read what you have written. No one should have to do anything. No one should have to do anything. Libertarian, do you agree? Mm, yes. Yes. Who agrees that this libertarian world outlook to say no one should do anything? Anything. Who agrees? Who does not agree? Mike, why you don't agree? Libertarian. It doesn't, liberty does not mean license. Did he say liberty? What is libertarian for you? Um, excessive freedom. Yeah? Excessive freedom. Oh, it's an excess concept. Yeah. Right. From right. which standpoint is it excessive? <laughs> from the standpoint of libertarian or from the standpoint of the moralistic philosophy professor? <laughs> uh, <laughs> libertarianism is to not to be dead. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah. It's a real question. Who thinks it's, ex 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 it's excessive? The libertarian or the moralistic philosophy professor? Me. Yes, the moralistic philosophy yeah, professor. Me. Yes. All right? But see, we don't want to judge things from outside from another perspective. We want to know what does a libertarian claim? What does he want? Freedom. Yes. Is, it, is there freedom at the standpoint of your neighbor? Well, that is what it implies. Okay, so is that libertarian? Yes. Okay. Now, and that's right. You have to distinguish. Seizing the essence of something and criticizing. When we ask you to criticize, you criticize from a given standpoint. But when you do this, to conceptualize is not to criticize. There's a fundamental difference. To, crit to conceptualize is to go at the essence of something. To say, what does it contain? It has nothing to do with criticism. See? Okay? And that's, by the way, the shift in standpoint. Well, now when you do this job of finding a concept, you have to say, what is going on here? When you criticize, you want to, you come to a given standpoint. Now, when one can say, of course, when I criticize, I have to use a concept. That's true, yes. But when you ask strictly to conceptualize, you're not supposed to be from a given standpoint, but from the inside of that idea. Yeah? Is the problem? Objection. Objection. Let's hear the objection. You ask him, what is this concept for you? Yes. Which and concept? Libertarian. What is this for him? Yes? Yeah. All right. That's what so I asked him. And that's yes. what he answered. I asked for you. You asked for me. I asked no, for me. You said please. no. Can you try the other way around. You always like to tell your life story like that. Mm -hmm. Did I ask for you? That was the first question. Yeah. Yes. All right. So... Therefore, what should he do? Well, he, like he did, okay. Who is this you who I'm talking to when I'm asking, what is it for you? Mike. Mike. Is there only one Mike? Yeah. yeah. Who agrees there's only one Mike? Raise your hand. We think there are different Mikes. Raise your hand. Oh, that's interesting. Well, just for the hell of it. No, for me they're different mics. There's a mic who conceptualizes, there's a mic who problematizes, there's a mic who does different things. But uh, I'm not clear in my instruction. I should say that next time. You know? For you as a conceptualizer, has that better? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. So, uh, let's go back to so libertarian. So, so let's write that. Let's say, who else is libertarian? Who else? Who was it? Who? Same oh, same. Who else saw another libertarian? <coughs> Who? Uh, Marx. Who? The Mark. Mark, Mark. Mark, read yours. At your own house, you have the right to do what you want to do. Okay. Who takes libertarian here? Raise your hand. Who doesn't take it? Raise your hand. Okay. So we've identified one way to refuse to criticize this is from a libertarian standpoint. Okay, now what's our idea here is to find different standpoints, not to go through each thing, but to find different standpoints by which we can criticize that. And of course the libertarian says, never mind your moral, I do what I want, yes? Now, there was another, who heard, has heard another term that we heard two or three times? Reciprocity. Hmm? Reciprocity. Reciprocity. Yeah. Who has, who has uh, reciprocity as a, who has used that concept? Raise your hand. You, two, two people. Okay, let's go with that. Let's see what reciprocity does. 
But first, before we hear, who, well, let's, let's, let's see. Let's see. Reciprocity. Who is in reciprocity for you? Who? Who? Yeah, but who are you talking about? Yourself? Yes. Oh, that is so beautiful. <laughs> that is so beautiful. <laughs> That's the. Okay. Thank you, Oki. Did I ask you to deokize yourself? Somebody to listen to well again. Okay. Did I ask you to deokize yourself? <coughs> Third time and last time. Did I ask you to deokize yourself? No. No, I never did. Who okay. <laughs> Oki has ears? Raise your hand. Who thinks Oki has no ears? Raise your hand. Funny, yeah? You have to show them your ears after because they don't believe you. They're blind, you know? Okay, anyway. So, who else has reciprocity? You have from whom? Uh, Sigrid. For Sigrid. Sigrid, read. You shouldn't respect your neighbor if he's throwing uh, garbage on your backyard. Alright, that's reciprocity. <laughs> I think so, yeah. You agree? Yes. Who agrees? Raise your hand. Who does not? Raise your hand. Okay. Why not? Why not? Uh, because she said, uh, she didn't say, uh, um, try it, try it. Try in English. She didn't say uh, that garbage is uh, not for her and not for the neighbors, but she talked about you shouldn't do that. If they do that, then it's not reciprocity, it's condition. There do you agree with her or no? I'm sorry, I cannot explain. No, no, no. Yeah. no, apologize for apologizing. <laughs> Is it reciprocal or no? No. Is it one way? Yes. Now, which way is it? Who comes first? You? No, she spoke. So it's her or her yes, neighbor? No. Uh? No, it's the neighbor. Neighbor comes first, yes? Yes. Does it work for her too? No. No, it only works for the neighbor. Yes. Read it again. You shouldn't respect the okay, neighbor. Okay, stop. Who is this you addressing to? Uh, no, no. When she says you, who is she talking to? Ozo. In English. To the others. Good. So is this for everyone or only for her, her neighbor? For everyone. For everyone. Yes. Keep on. You shouldn't respect your neighbor if he's throwing garbage on your backyard. Is it one way or both ways? Both ways. Both ways. Reciprocal or not? Okay. Change your mind? Yeah. Okay. Now, this reciprocity the way. What kind of world vision is it of somebody says, don't respect your neighbor if he throws garbage on yours? What do you call that? That kind of world view. What do you call that? Somebody speaks like that. How does a person think? What kind of person do we have here? Just, or you know or you don't know? Uh, in other words, I'd like to get... The reciprocity can have different connotations. That reciprocity, what is it to do with? Do you know? Or you don't know? I mean something and also... Uh there is something moral in it. It's immoral. Yes? It's moral. Do you agree it's moral? No. It's not moral. It has to do with what then? <laughs> with acting? Yeah, but does that have to do with acting? Do not kill your uh, brother. Uh, is that to do with acting? Yeah. So moral and acting, is there an opposition? No. No, it's, Don't repeat here. This is always very funny. Sonny doesn't know. The neighbor says that and they repeat it. I call it a drowning syndrome. You know, I don't know, so I repeat the neighbor. Does moral have to do with acting, yes or no? Yes, it has All to right. do with acting. So you cannot say it's not moral because it's acting. Mm -hmm. Is it the moral principle you have there? There's a moral principle. All right. So it's moral. Yes. It's now look at it. Is it the same kind of moral principle as this one? What's the difference? I like that. We have a more two moral principle. Read it. Read it. Statement. Yeah. You shouldn't respect your neighbor. Okay. Don't respect your neighbor 
If he's throwing his garbage on your backyard. If he throws garbage. Garbage, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. Who can identify? If these are two moral principles, what's the main difference between those two moral principles? Who has an idea? You have an idea? Yeah, go ahead. The first one is unconditional. Unconditional. And the second one? And the second has a condition. Okay. What's the major difference between a conditional moral principle and an unconditional moral principle? What's the difference? Uh, uh, an unconditional is uh, absolute. It's yes, okay. <coughs> What's the difference of the kind of... Are these two people uh, have the same guidance for their moral principle? No. No? What's the difference? One, one of them is uh, objectivist. Which one is objectivist? The one that believes in... Uh, the first one or the second one? The first one, the one that... Is objectivist. What do you see objective in the first one? You should respect your neighbor. What's objective in there? The principle. That Why is it objective? Because uh, it works. It should respect, you should have respect always uh, under any... Okay, so for you it's objectivist, subjectivist, yes? yes? Who takes that analysis? Raise your hand. Who does not? Raise your hand. All right. Who else wants to say the difference between the two moral principles? You want to do it? Go ahead. The second one is subordinated by if clause. Yeah, but I don't want this we saw, this condition. But I want to know, are these two same equivalent moral principles? No. Are they the same world vision? No. So what is the difference of world vision between those two moral principles? One says, respect your neighbor. The other says, respect your neighbor if he doesn't throw garbage on you. What's the difference? Do you know? Of these two moral... Do you know that... Do you agree they're different types of ethics? Yeah. D this, they, they are different types. Okay. But do you know... Can you tell the difference or no? The first one is universal. Universal ethics. Universal ethics. And the second one? Particular. Particular. Who takes that? Raise your hand. Who does not? Ask somebody. Why more do you don't, you don't take it? Well, uh, the second one... The is also a kind of universal rule. What? This uh, don't uh, uh, respect your neighbor if he throws garbage in your yard. That's also a universal rule. Do you agree? No. I don't agree. Why? Because this is, the second one is a particular case. Uh, this is particular because it's conditioned by if the neighbor uh, thrown a garbage. Oh. Who it's agrees different. that it's universal and particular the difference? Raise your hand. Who doesn't take it? Raise your hand. So refuse. Who else wants to distinguish those two moral outlook? You want to do it? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, the U here is applicable to any U everywhere. So is it universal? Completely, both are saying the same thing. So in both universal. are universal. Now I want two concepts. Okay. Two concepts. For one for the other. Um, I want an antinomy now. Okay. Two concepts. One for one, one for the other. You have or you don't have? Well, Look, right ra put your hand. Raise your hand only if you have two concepts. Otherwise, don't, don't raise your hand. You raise your hand? You have two concepts? Go ahead. The first one. Um, categoric imperative. Categorical imperative. And the second one? The second is hypothetical. Hypothetical imperative. Yes. Uh, does anybody have a problem with those terms? He raises his hand. Can you explain for the ones who don't know? The, 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 the categoric imperative is. Um, you must do something unconditionally. There are no conditions to do something. You should respect your neighbor, independent if he is black, white, rich, poor, any, anything. An hypothetic statement, an hypothetic uh, 
statement, um, it implies conditions. You do something if you you do something if something uh, occurs. Okay. It's okay. Now, what is the issue? Can you can you say what is the? By the way, it's a Kant uh, distinction, Kantian distinction. Well, no. Uh, uh, sometimes it's useful to know uh, philosophers. Thank you. And what is the issue you think between categorical imperative and hypothetical imperative? What is I the issue there? Do you know? I have some difficulty with the, the word okay. issue. Oh, what is at stake? What is uh, what difference does it make? Or you don't know. Okay, you know? The first one, the, 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 categor the categoric imperative, makes, makes something universal. And the other um, implies some relativism. Mm -hmm. Alright. Who else wants to say what is the issue between those two kinds of imperatives? Anybody else has an insight? Yes? Well, uh, uh, no. Oh. Uh, the hypothetical imperative always has to have a condition. Yes, but no. This. Do you want to repeat what she has said already? No. No. We want something new. What is the issue between the categories? We know this condition. She said it. What, what difference does it make to have an imperative that says, do this all the time, and I would say, do this in case if this happens? Do you have something back? Duty. Yes, but is there duty in both cases or no? Is there duty in both cases? <coughs> yes or no? Yes. Okay, so who can tell the difference? What's that stake there? Erwin, you got an idea? Yes? Uh, the second one is uh, more, it's easy to control, to, to see if, uh, if, if, if the rule is applied. And the first one is uh, because it's so general, more difficult to, to, to see if somebody really follows the rule. Okay. Who else wants to do it? Well, who didn't get a chance? Mike. And here now, in the second one, pure ethics is applied fully because there is an aspect of choice. In which one? The second one. In the second one, there is choice? Yeah, there is choice. Is there choice in the first one? There is no choice. It's what? binding on you. Okay. What difference does that make? The difference there is that you have no right to choose. And when you don't have any right to choose, it's no longer obligatory on you. you the responsibility is not there. So in the categorical, categorical imperative, there's yeah. no responsibility. The responsibility is not there because you have not... Try to answer the question. Don't well, Who agrees that in the first one there's no responsibility? Raise your hand. Who refuses that? Raise your hand. All right, put your hand up. There, today, there, it's, it's not a good crowd, you know, don't worry. Well, it's, <laughs> it's okay. It's my, 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 it's okay, okay. my view is accepted right. every time. Who has another vision? You want? What's the difference? Because I think the, the second one um, implies uh, utilitarianism. All right. There's a dimension of utilitarianism in there. Why do you say that? Because it, it uh, implies that we receive something because we do something. Okay, we receive something. And in the first one, is there any dimension of utilitarianism? No. No. So it's not utility in the first one. What is there? It's the duty like... Yeah, but... Yeah. The, but uh, can utility... Uh, uh, take, uh, take it easy. Can utility create a duty? It's the ontology. Gee. Sorry. Can utility create a duty? Yes. So, in, the, in both cases, there's a duty. Yes. But That's what is the kind of duty we have in the first one? The ontological one. Ontological duty. Explain why you say that. Or deontological. The but is there a deontological duty? Yes, the second one. Uh, okay, I don't know who this is. Is there in the second case too? So, what is it in the first one that is not in the second one? There's some dimension of utility. What is in the first one? It's the respect of the person for itself. Yes, and what do you call that? Utility? No. What do you call that? Ontological 
Yes. What is there? You teach philosophy. Dig, dig, dignity. Is there? You teach philosophy. Yes. See, I'm asking a question. You answer always another one. Do you teach philosophy? Yes. That has a name. I don't remember. Anybody remembers? No. Nobody remembers. Numina. Numina. Numino. Why numino? Um, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, and that's, we, we're touching, I think, an important issue here. You have an idea? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just wondering if the, <coughs> the second proposition is stated in the negative. Okay, sorry, okay. <coughs> and that's the difference between value and utility. Here, we define a value in itself. <coughs> we don't care what happens. We define a value, yeah? And that's, I think, a very important issue here. And when you hear somebody defending something, is he defending? And of course, we can. Uh, uh, axiological. What? Axiological. Well, both have a, a, an axiology. But one defends a value in itself, and then one defends a conditional, therefore, there's some form of utility. Now, you have more radical utility than this, but still, that's an important distinction. You know, a condition will describe some form of utility. Not necessarily, but at least the way it is there, utility. But you see, these kind of things, that's what we want to look at, you know? From what's... <laughs> From what standpoint, you know, are we... Protect? So look how funny it is. Here, we hear reciprocity, right? So we think, oh, it sounds nice, right? But reciprocity here, does it have a utilitarian uh, uh, dimension to it? Yes. So what looks moral is actually you feel the thing. Now, for in the uh, Anglo-Saxon tradition, it doesn't matter. But from the standpoint of some continental philosophers, they said, there's a problem here. There's a diminishing of the value. Reciprocity becomes a practical uh, issue and not a value question, right? You know? So, uh, who else uh, has another concept uh, that he has heard that it was important, that he has picked up? Janet, who, who, what was your concept? You have uh, process. Now, who else has heard? Uh, what was your concept? Two persons. I'm, I'm, I'm now acting a bit arbitrary because of a time problem. What's yours? Was universality or relativism? Okay, who was uh, somebody was relativistic? Uh, the who was relativistic? Janet. No, Janet. Janet's relativistic. Let's hear it. Janet, read your statement. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Universal moral principles are meaningless in application. All right. Does that mean you're relativistic? Uh, yes. Okay. Huh? Anybody disagrees? Okay. There is more radical. It's a refusal of any general moral principle. Relativistic depends on whatever. So there's nothing universal. Uh, what was the concept you have? Uh, respect without friendship is... No, 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 concept, concept. No. concept. Oh, you have no concept. No. What, what's the concept you have? Uh, one of the reasons. Okay, who was that? Uh, who? Janet. Uh, As well. What was the concept? You had no. Well, no? Reciprocity. Oh, yeah, you have. You had a concept? Relativism. For whom? For Oki. Okay. Let's hear it, Oki. Okay. I will respect my neighbors when they are not abusive. Who agree that's relativism? Raise your hand. Who thinks it's not relativism? Raise your hand. Ask somebody why it's not relativism. Keep your hand up. Mark, why is it not relativism? Because it is uh, absolute. You say, in that condition, I forgot, but in that condition you don't... Uh, if he's not abusive. Yeah, if he's not abusive, if, if not abusive, you have to respect. So. I don't see any relative in that. Uh, Alright. Is there? Do you agree with him? No. Do you think it's relativistic? There is a condition. Yes. So if there's a condition, therefore that's an interesting general problem. If there is a condition, is it relativistic? Yeah. It's not a problem. Who agrees that a condition and relativistic go together? Who think it does not? Raise your hand. And ask somebody why it does not. Why 
Can you say? When you have a condition, is it relativistic, yes or no? Why not? I can't understand. When it's relativistic, what does it depend on? Don't look at the board. When it's relativistic, what does it depend on? Easy, come on. Easy. Someone? Someone! But when there's condition, what does it depend on? Circumstances. Circumstances. So therefore, is it relativistic? No. No. Does the condition depend on everyone, or is transcends what everyone? Transcends. Transcends. Do you agree that condition transcends individuality? Yes. So is it relativistic? No. No. Huh? This, that's why it's, uh, by the way, uh, let me tell you, every time I do this kind of workshop, when we start getting to the really, this kind of conceptual stuff, it really forces you to rethink what you know of philosophy, to clarify it. For example, mm -hmm. you know, here, for example, think relativistic. For them, you think it depends on, but it depends on what? You know, individual. But condition is, it transcends that, right? And I tell you, every time, you know, you do this, you think it through again. And it really helps you to clarify. Sometimes you, sh you realize you were not clear on the concept. So don't worry for people who are in philosophy, who start to say, oh my God, you know, I think you really... Yes. And, it, 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 and that's why it's always, I find it interesting. It's not simply uh, that you, you get people to see, but it forces you to rethink the things. Yes? Okay. So, we, we, we won't finish that, but it doesn't matter. You get a bit of the point, yes, of how to do the exercise. Asking people to make criticism. And then distinguish what are the general categories which are involved in that. And what are the implications of those categories? That for me is the issue. Go what I call to the meta level, yes? And not particularly to, to look at each uh, category. Okay. Is there a question or a comment on that exercise? Something you want to know or something you want to say? Yes. If you do this exercise with people without philosophical knowledge, yes. how can they then identify their role in talking about this concept? Of yes. Uh, well, weirdly enough, when there's a problem, it's an idea of Deleuze, when there's a problem, there's a, a call for a concept. And you can do this with children, and they will have their own words. So you'll work with their words. Now here there's philosophy professors for some, so you'll have official words. You can do this. Of course you have to examine the degree of abstraction, but you can do this kind of thing with it. Conceptualization is not reserved to philosophers. Conceptualization, you can do this with children, for example, you tell children a story about anything, and they say, okay, who, who do you like in that story? I like the prince. How is the prince? What is the word you would apply? So he'll conceptualize the prince, instead of conceptualizing a given moral position. But it's the same competence. I see. It's not a problem. They only adapt to the capacity of abstraction. Yes. Any other question or comment? Yes. Yes? Are you with us, or are you with yourself? Um, did you deokize yourself? Yes. How did it go? Very fine. You like it? Yes. Who are you now? I am boss. You're all oh, okay, yeah. that's me. Okay. <laughs> 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 I like the Beatles song, you know? I am here, we are here. Well, I mean, come on, let's go. Well, maybe because I'm not a philosopher, I don't have that background. But I want to ask, or I want to say this, maybe you can clarify. What she has. Who is she? Is she part of us? Yes. Yeah, sacred. Sacred, yes. Sacred, yes. That's I respect my levels. Yes. Yeah. No, no, look, we don't want to no, talk about that. Stop, 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 stop. If you're with us, you don't want to talk about her. Okay. You want to talk about the exercise. Okay, that's it. Do you point. like the exercise? I do. Why? Thank you. Any other comment on the exercise? Yes. The exercise gets us back to concept to concepts to really get out the uh, in fact the, the question the first person asked in the morning <coughs> we get back to it kind of getting the exact uh, and although we said that uh, imperfection is um, maybe the spice of life but 
we discovered now that unless we get to the nearest in meaning, we hardly would have done nothing with that. So getting back to the root is very essential, especially in this particular aspect, this uh, problematic uh, whatever. And it means that without getting to the root of the problem, we cannot actually solve the problem. All right, that's what I'm... Any other comment? Yes, Janet. Uh, I'm just wondering if you started just from the proposition and asked us to give a, a reason rather than an objection, would that, and then follow through the process, uh, would there be a different outcome? Um, well, if you say the reason, if you give a reason for that, well, yeah, just if you give a reason for that, you will stay within the context of these uh, categorical imperatives, you see. When from a libertarian, then there's an answer. But why not? It, it could be another way. If you want to analyze different reasons to have a categorical imperative, then you can do this. It'll just, you'll get different things. But some things will echo. There's no problem, you know. You can, it, it, something you can ask to problematize or to, to give arguments to justify, you know, for me. It's just you will work on, on different kind of uh, uh, competencies, but why not? You know, sure, there's no Anything else? All right. So we stop at the break, and when we come back, Cecilia will do a workshop. Yes? Mm -hmm.